On today's show, Keith and Dom are gonna show us how to make this fantastic quick link arch. It's got, what size quick links has it got? 12 inch quick links. And what size normal balloons has it got? Seven inch crawl. And that is it. Hello, Greg from Blue Market here, and welcome to another BMTV with Keith and Dom. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you guys? We're yeah, back. yeah, we're good, we're good, and we're ready to do some more balloons. Some more balloons, what do you mean? We've only just started. Well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going large. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going large this time. Very, very large. So you've, you've done the, the, I was going to say desktop things, the tabletop things. Yes, the, things, yeah, the, the things. balloon gifts. Kind of balloon yes. gifts. Yeah. And now you're going to do something far more impressive, aren't we you? We are, but sticking with the air-filled theme, and uh, we're going to start off just showing a couple of techniques that we're going to be using before we go into the big build. Okay, let's okay. do it. So, with the quick links again, it's a 12 inch quick link. This is the Onyx Black. These are going to be sized to about nine inches. So, mm -hmm. again, 3.4 on this machine. <laughs> nice and tight for the connection, neck to neck. You can see you wrap around twice as well. Yeah. Yeah, it actually means that if you wanted to, you can actually get a, um, a needle under there and actually untie them very easily. That's why we do it. Really? So if you inflate them the wrong size, you can undo them and redo your work. Every not day really is a we would ever make a mistake. No, I understand. I understand. Other people do. Yeah. So see them again. There you go. And then I shall tie them the same thing. So it's once, round, twice, and then tie. Perfect. Then one more balloon, because this one's going to be a run of five. So tying this together like this, and normally if we want to turn it into a ring, we would tie these together. Yeah. Uh, but that's under tension, Yeah. and if we can avoid it, we will avoid it, and we can this way. So this is a technique that we use. Also, when we go on to do the bigger um, arch that we're going to be doing in a little bit, we tend to take it on site. Uh, when when it, we transport in a van, um, not made up into the big arch. Yeah. So, and it's much easier if this isn't a ring, if it's a straight like this, to pack them into the van. I see. So okay. then what we do is to make it easier than that, we tie, uh, point three. Thank you. The, um, we're gonna tie a single balloon on either end and actually use them to connect together. Okay. And it makes it uh, easier, simple, and better for the balloons. Okay. So it's a seven inch chrome that's uh, sized to approximately four inches. And we just tie that around to a single on this side. What colour is that? Copper. Copper. I like the copper. We do as well, and the black and copper really stand out really well together. Nice yeah. mix. So then we, instead of tying these together, we just take those two balloons and just twist them. Okay. Okay. And then it means that when we're on site, you know, tying this together, they just go in a, uh, in the van in okay, yeah. single chains. And then we're adding duplets on to the other four points on the So connection. you're not even twisting those, so just no. pulling them in. No. So these are the same size, it's just two balloons tied together. Yeah. So that's uh, one of our rings, and so we're going to do two more of these rings. But we've inflated them here with some we inflated earlier. Okay. So they're sized to nine inches. Mm -hmm. These are sized to approximately seven and a half inches okay. and six inches. So again, we just lock them together, and then with our duplets, we pull them through. to make our rings. So you've got three different sizes? Yeah. So what, what are you doing with those? Ooh, well, we're going to put them together and we're going to build something that's a little bit different. It's something that um, we did, we've actually done for quite some time on this style and it creates a almost a crown-like effect. Okay. Um, and it's it's really cool and it's a bit different, uh, and especially, and it goes along with the theme of the big arch too. Yeah. So it's something that, if you wanted a column, instead of just doing a normal column in there, you want an arch in this area and you want something over here, um, this is great. We actually do them for events where they have big speaker cabinets, and we actually put them on top of the speaker cabinets because they're lightweight, there's no structure to them. Yeah, yeah. And they sit up there really nicely and make a good impact. So we are going to do a chain of three now. So it's the 12 inch quick link and these are sized to nine inches. Mm -hmm. And then on the top, on one end, we've got an 11 inch uh, cr copper chrome. Um, and we're gonna do that on all five of these. Yeah, size to uh, seven and a half inches. Again. Okay. And then, can you remember what size it was on this machine, Keith? 1.4, I think it was, was it? Eight. 1.8, thank you very much. And it's 7.5 inches. There we go. 
and we want a nice and round for a squeeze because it's going to sit on top. So why did you take that other nozzle off? So the nozzle that I had on there was for the seven inch copper and the nozzle size makes it easy for that balloon to go on. But because the, um, the 12 inch or the 11 inch, sorry, has got the bigger opener on it, it goes straight to the normal outlet. I see, okay. So one, it's just for ease, but if you do leave it on, it does alter the size of the balloon as well, so you can finesse okay. the size. So it's, right. it's important because we've done this to a particular size that we've already measured, we want to keep it consistent yeah. with the okay. rest of the cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top one, which is the, the larger size, but we need to miss the top part and go straight into here. Okay. Okay. And this is the larger size. And the way that we do that is, I'm just going to turn my back so I can see it better the camera, is we go between the two uh, seven inch cro copper there. So I just pull them through and then we just lock them over. Okay. So that chain goes up and down and they become horizontal. Yeah. And then you know it's locked into place. So same again as we work our way around. Very simple. There's no tying involved in this one. It's just pull it through and lock it. Like this. Okay. And then yep. we need to go to our next size down and we go into this position. And we do the same thing. So this is going to form part of an arch. This is actually going to be a separate piece, but it's exactly the same techniques okay. that we're going to show you that we use on the arch. So okay. it makes more sense. Um, from on the bottom of here, we're going to add the small one. But before we do that, again, we, we don't want to tie it directly. We've got some um, water weights okay. on there. So we're just going to tie the water weights to the bottom of here. So we'll do it on the, the table. You good? Yep. So they, put, uh, they form part of the structure as well. So it's a weight to hold it down and keep it stable and steady, but it also adds in an extra balloon that we can then use to lock in with the duplets yep, on the yep. outer ring. Yeah. But we try to do add these on late on, like the, one of the last things that you do. So it's not fighting against the weight the entire time while you're building the rest of the design. So we can bring that up now and bring that last ring in. And then, We'll just do the same twist, you know, like we did last summer. Even late in the day, it just doesn't stop. Never stops. You know what they say with the song, isn't it? They don't stop the teasing. Yeah? The song? No. Don't stop the teasing. Uh, okay. And then the last thing that we're going to do is up here. So we'll bring it down so it's easier for you to see. Um, because what we've got is instead of clusters of two, we've actually got exactly the same size yep. as clusters of four. And what we're going to do is we're going to twist them round onto there. I like the shape of this. It's different, right? It is, yeah. Uh, we like them too. There's, there's many different things we can do. One of the things that we do when we have them floor standard is actually have something like a three footer. Or yeah. a, um, star shaped foil balloon flying out. Well, one of the first reasons we created these was for an event where the client wanted their branded three foot balloons all around the venue. So it's a big open space. They didn't have tables or anything in because it had so many people, but wanted all these three foots. Looks great. However, you've got that line that's coming down. We couldn't hang them. It had to be floating. Oh, right. So okay. it's from the floor. So these created kind of a, um, a, a a barrier from that part, but also added to some of the uh, the decor as well. Yeah. So, so with, did you hear the film? The, uh, helium yeah. Here, so they float right above. So the okay. three-foot so floor. Tall room. Yeah. Line comes down. There's a weight, weight on the, the floor center. for it, and I this see. then stop people walking I into see. that line. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you have that scene from Jaws. You know, where it's pulling all the boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jay Ken with three barrels on him, not with three Ken. Yeah. These lines, so we don't. We want to avoid that. So but you could just. Need. Put a three foot absolutely, like yeah, that. yeah, and have it nestled in there. It's yeah. a kind of a globe. That yeah, would be pretty so you cool. could do this and take it taller as well. Yeah. So we, we did columns and do, and still do where it's this technique, but where the rings are different sizes on this, you just do them the same size and that can go up and you can play around with the sizes to yeah. really have a bit of fun with your design. Yeah, but it's uh, that's really clever. It's and it's the thing is it's air filled and it's solid, right? It's, yeah, yeah, uh, love it. We we put put them onto site and we don't have to return. Yeah, because the whole thing at the end of it, you know, is 
We see these going home in no taxis and, and the thing. Yeah. The other thing as well is um, for delivery, we take it in its component parts. So it's it's pretty much ready to assemble. However, together like this, it is very structural and it's not very easy to transport because it's yeah. quite bulky. Yeah, yeah. However, in its ring and chains, they fit in a bag and it's easier to kind of throw yeah. into a van, not worry about it, drag all those bags onto the venue and then just do the final assembly. So it's quick and easy, but goes together without any sort of fuss. But now that we've learnt the techniques involved in making the arch, I think we should actually make the arch. All right. We certainly okay. should. And you so, know the best way to get there? I think it's with a... Uh, a Star Wars. Star <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? what? Hey, you do star, star wipes, wipe. man, Greg. Star wipes. I'm okay with clicking the, finger things. It's the future. Star wipes. Oh, it's the future. Oh my god, that's. I feel all funny. <laughs> anyway, we've, we've got rid of the table. What, what are we going to do now? Well, now we're actually going to build an arch, a quick link arch. So there's no framework involved, no helium, no extra bits of ribbon or dacron or anything like that. It's Amazing. just the balloons in there. So okay. It's all the techni techniques we've just used. Yeah. We're going to do that now. So we've got the rings like we had. The large ones? The yes, large, the large ones. ones. And it's only the large ones we're going to use on this one. Okay. So they're all going to be five rings and they're inflated to nine inches for the 12-inch uh, quick link. And okay. a number of them that we need, there are three stacks of seven. So in my book, that's 21. 21. Well done. Well 21 done. Good, good. rings to be used. Excellent. We've now... Were you going in for a high five now? <laughs> Were you going in for a high five? <laughs> yeah, you got it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing hanging. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, five locations now for what will be the uprights. Yes. Um, but to create the arch, we need to uh, encourage it to get the curve. Okay. So the arch uprights have different sizes in it to create that curve. So I there's, see, yeah. there's actually three different sizes we're going to use. So the first one we have is a run of 12 inch quick links and these are all sized to nine inches. And this okay. is a chain of 20 tied together, okay. all nine inches. So is that the big one? Yeah, this is the okay. big one. This is gonna be the outside spine of the arch. Okay. Okay. The next one we're gonna use is it starts off with the um, quick link size to nine because we want it to be straight to start with, then yeah. start to curve. Oh yeah. So this is actually, if this is the outside spine, this one, which is um, size two, seven and a half inches, is going to be this and okay. this one. Yeah. Okay. So our main one's going to be here, the outside one, and then this one and this one will be using the section with the seven inch in so there. It's four size to nine inches, yep. and then 12 size to seven and a half inches, and then it ends with four more, okay. the large ones. Yeah. That straight section at both sides. And then the last style of chain that we have starts with four and nine inches again, yep. but then drops down to six inches. So that'll be this one and this one. I like this, this is all mechanics. It this is, is, yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Lego. all mechanics making it's, it's it work. It's the Lego side of it. This yeah. builds itself, yeah. it's really cool. So starting off with our first full chain, like we did on the previous build, instead of doing the first one where the weight's gonna be, we're gonna leave that till the end because we wanna okay. be able to move this around without that weight hanging off it and kind of causing yeah. us problems. Yeah. So we'll ignore that first one and we'll join this one in at that second connection. So again, just twisting those balloons. And that's, that's it. All you're doing. Generally as well, we tend to turn them in the same direction. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way you go, but we tend to do righty tighty because it's easy to remember. Yeah. And we do it the same. So if we ever need to fix it or undo it, we know how we put it together. You're not guessing, you're not looking and go, which way was it twisted? It's yeah, just all yeah, the same. Yeah. So this is our next chain, which has got the seven and a half on there. And then we're going to go on to here, in between on there, and then it locks it. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to make sure so that we don't get it wrong, we're going to go at the other side of it like this, and we're going to add on our second chain. Just making sure it's not the other end of it. Cause... So when, if you were delivering this, yeah. you would take all these chains as they are, yeah. and those rings as they are like that, and then you would just do this bit on site, because yeah. you wouldn't be able to get that into a van. No, it it's also as well, it's not just the van. So we put them in decor bags, you know, the, the big bags. And the reason for it is when you're taking them on site and through doorways and everything like that, when it's not all tied together, it's just in chains, they go through so much easier. Yeah. Everything moves yeah. so much easier in the bag, and you can get more in the bag as well. Yeah. So we're going to the small ones now. We have two of these. So Keith's just going to find those. Yep. So here's the first There's one. The first one. And again, making sure that we go to that second connection, ignoring that first one, which is for the weight. And then, and then our last one. So now we're set. If we're working together as a team, it's really important to work 
along the design. If I just started at the you know the middle or something, I might be out of sync. Yeah, it's I very mean, easy yeah. to go out of sync at this stage because we've got the bigger ones and they've got the smaller size, so it doesn't align. Yeah, yeah. So the alignment yeah. is going to help us create that curve. So okay. we want to work systematically from one end and work our way through. So if we're working together, we can bring a new ring in and make sure someone starts off with one because what I want to do is I want to do the next one round. I don't want to okay. make a mistake and kind of miss one and then have yep. to undo it. Yep. But, so Keith's got that one set and I can now do the same thing on this side. I like these checks and balances you've got in place. It's just, again, part of the process, it's, isn't it? It is. It comes from making mistakes, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of these things that when you're working with teams as well, right? Yeah. If everybody follows the same process, you should get the same result, yeah. right? Because the, the definition of madness is um, repeating the same process and expecting a different result. Exactly. So we should get exactly, exactly the same. So when you have teams, is it all your staff or do you get people in to help you? Occasionally we get outside people in, yeah, or people that have worked for us in the past and have actually gone on to different careers and then... So do you ever get in? people in that aren't actually balloonies and you just show them what to do? Not really. In Not theory often. we could. Yeah. Um, especially with things like this where the technique is. The, the thing is, is that with experience, as you know, is that we know how much pressure we can put on the balloons when we twist them together. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, whereas when people are just starting off, they're, they're kind of, of it, yeah, yeah, either yeah. frightened of them or they're just a bit tentative towards them yeah. or they're too ham-fisted as we would yeah, call it. Yeah. So this is a key one now to watch out for. So we, we, we're starting here where this top chain was all the full size, yeah. all size to nine inches. So I'm gonna bring that one in and you can see quite quickly that the alignment isn't necessarily the same. So it's easy to miss one yeah, and join yeah. that up because that's more in line. Yeah, this is where these sizes now are gonna start pulling this ring and create an angle. Yeah. And that, that is the key part to making this curve around. Yeah. So the, one on the, the larger one on the outside pushes it and the one on the inside pulls it, it yeah. automatically creating that curve. But I think is it time, should we go? Yeah, I think it's uh, time okay. to speed things up. So let's go really fast. took ownership for the ta-da. You, yeah. well, yeah. you were ready. So, I mean, you built up for that. Fair, I, I think I you, did a good job there. Yes. Because you had more time to think about it, Greg, I Yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we have all of our um, quick links put together into the arch itself, what we need to do is two things. We need to put our last two rings on. Yeah. But in order to do that, they need somewhere to connect to. And as we did on the crown, we do it by using... Think fast, Greg. <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Water weights, yeah. okay. Um, we, it depends on where we're working, whether we use water weights or sand weights. If we're in an office environment where they tend to have sockets and things on the floor, um, water is a bit of a no-no yeah, for yeah, sand. Absolutely. But if it's on a polished wooden floor or something like that, then sand's a no-no as well. So yeah, just, yeah. you've got tools in your toolbox. Picky battles. So we're just gonna tie these onto the end of here like this. Thank you, you held that very well. Thank you. You can see you've been much. practicing. Yeah, yeah. Holding stuff. Do it all the time. Hold stuff. Now we've got that weight on there, we can use that as the connection point into that final ring. I have to say, I was very surprised when I just picked up that other little column that you did showing those techniques, how heavy that was. Yeah. Those five water weights just really make yes. a massive difference. And you see already it's trying to pull this into yeah. the right position yeah. because it's got that uh, Why structure to it. We don't put them on till the end, yeah. otherwise it's yeah. fighting against and it's pulling it out yeah. of shape, so. One. Two. <laughs> Don't do Three. That. Oh, you dropped it. Four. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Five. There we go. Oh, I've lost the mic. He's over there. Hey. Hey. You've got to watch me wreck the mic. So, thank you, sir. Again, we're just tying onto the ends of here. You see that the the nozzle, the tip there has actually gone inside. So I'm just gonna hold on to the end and just give that a pull and it'll 
fix it? Yeah, uninvert itself. If that's a word. I don't know, that's the question for today. Tis now! <laughs> hey. Right, uh, you there. I know we sped that up, but that was still really quick. Yeah, so you think about the time on site, going in with the bags, and then just putting that together, and you, they don't have time to ask you lots of questions on site, yeah, they're yeah. just watching in awe of going, what are they making, and then wow. And yeah. then you're, you're like, see ya. Yes, yeah. done, see you later, all done. Right, right we're ready. ready. All right. And Big then moments. from there, we just pick it up. Ta-da, that's the proper ta-da moment. And yeah. put it into position. Look at that, look. And then that is a ta-da. Right. It's a ta-da for. Amazing. It is ta-da for. <laughs> it's always worth doing a quick, quick spot check as well. We tend to do it when it's on the ground to make sure that as you've moved everything that these um, seven-inch chrome are in position. Because sometimes as you move things, it might be sort of out, out of sequence. Oh, so just make sure they're tucked in. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you do that when it's on the ground, you can fix it without having to stretch up. Because obviously once you put it up, you can't reach everything. So do yeah. that little spot check on the ground, then pop it up and then just stop. Step back. It's lovely, right? Look, that is work. spectacular. That yeah, is amazing. No frame, just balloons and air. And yeah. this is the, you can see here, we've got the first four, which is the straight section. And then this is the two sizes that are helping it curve and create the bend for that arch I section. I really love that. Yeah, and what you can do as well is, so say for instance, you wanted it wider, you can put a, um, go back to being straight in the middle by okay. going on the inside and putting the larger balloons on there to go out by three to yeah. make it that so if you width. wanted it to be wider and taller you yeah. could just change the sizing of the, the absolutely the so you've got a bit taller you just add a, add another ring and another quick link on it and keep it straight you can make it more curved by actually having these ones drop down in size straight away so it's, so it's a, a quicker okay. curve you can play around with it there is a maximum sort of tipping point if you like of yeah. where it won't hold Start. its own it starts structure. To middle. but you can put a connection up if you've yeah. got the opportunity yeah. of connection points so yeah, yeah. it's no. great Gents. But it's that easy to move around as well, yeah, right? Yeah, that's uh, brilliant. So you could just one person could just pick it up and yeah, walk well, with yeah, it if you wanted yeah. to. We've it's done uh, dance floor ones of these, so it's multiple of these yeah. around the dance there floor. We go. Yeah, and then just put it down where we want to. Put it back I can just position. imagine the wow moments of people watching you put it together. Yeah. And then yeah, we, we've fantastic. had them for a venue before as well, where it's a change around during the day. So they've been in the wings out the way and they dress the walls. Yeah. And then when it becomes the evening and then they want something out to create a smaller, more intimate area, we can bring them out and there's no Brilliant. worry. And also the venue can do it. So you don't have to be there because it's easy. It's very hard to damage this and they can just come through with yeah. one person yeah. or two people. Away it goes. It's perfect. Spectacular. Absolutely. Ideal. Amazing. Thank you. That's fantastic. Gentlemen. Oh, question of the week. You got a question of the week for everybody? What's the question of the week, Dom? What's the oh. question of the week? Well, how many quick links does it take to make this arch? Oh. Like that one. You should, if you watch carefully, you should just, you should just be able to work it out. How many quick links does it take to make this arch? Thank you both very much once again. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Stay happy. Stay positive. See you next week. Bye. Bye.